Hi, today we are going to learn closure property of context-free languages. Context-free languages are closed under union. If L1 and L2 are two context-free languages, then L1 union L2 is also context-free languages. Under concatenation, closed under concatenation, so if L1 and L2 are two context-free languages, then concatenation of L1 and L2 is also context-free languages. Closed under closure, if L1 is a context-free language, then L1 closure is also context-free language. Three properties are closed under context-free language, but not closed under context-free language are intersection and complement. Let's take a proof. For in not closed under intersection, it means L1 is context-free language and L2 is context-free language, then L1 intersection L2 can't be said as a context-free language. It may be or may not be. Similarly, if L1 is a context-free language, then sigma minus L1 can't be said as a context-free language. Let's take a proof for union. If there is a language L1, which is equivalent grammar G1, and G1 has V, V1, sigma, P1 and S1. V1 is a variable that is used in G1 that generates a language L1. Sigma is a symbols, input symbols. P1 is a production rule for L1 language. S1 is a star symbol for L1 language. Similarly for L2, there is a G2 which contains V2, Sigma, P2 and S2. So the production rule as we know, the CFG produ production rule is A drives alpha where A belongs to variable and alpha belongs to V union T closer. So if we take the union of these two grammars, what we will get new grammar G. which contains the all the variables v1 and v2 sigma production rule p1 and p2 and the star symbol there should be as new star symbol that should drive s1 or s2 so in this production, we can say the all the production which is taken from G1 and G2 would be in the form of A drives alpha. So two languages, two context free languages are closed under union. This is proved. Similarly for concatenation, we can prove it. In the concatenation, you take L1 and G1, L2 for G2. If we concatenate these two languages, the new grammar will be G, which will contain the variables, all the variables, V, Sigma, and new production rule P and S, where P will be all the production rule which is used in G1 and G2 and S would be S1 or S2. S1 concatenated with S2. Let's take an example. Z1 equal to direct in production rule. S drive A A and A drive A. Is it in context free language? Yes. Context free grammar that generate context free language A key power and there is a G2 S drive B B and B drive B this is context free lang language that generate B key power and now we are going to combine it 
the wheel is have to take new s which derive it is s1 it is s2 s1 dot s2 then we can get element s we get new start symbol s s1 dot s2 that's so that we can get element dot l2 if we generate a string from this we will get s1 is replaced by a a a ki power 2 and s2 and this s2 is replaced by b and this b replaced by b so b ki power 2 so s derives a ki power 2 and b ki power 2 which is l1 concatenation of l2 so this is the proof for concatenation that two languages are context free language this concatenation is also context free languages similarly we can prove for lean closure and for intersection and co complement we will see that we may get context free language or may not get context free language so the closure property of context free language says these are closed under union concatenation and lean closure only it is not closed under intersection and complement Thank you.